Israel is at war. We didn't want this war. It was forced upon us in the most brutal and savage way. But though Israel didn't start this war, Israel will finish it. The ongoing armed conflict between Hamas-led Palestinian militant groups and Israel began on October 7, 2023 with a coordinated surprise offensive on Israel. The attack began in the morning with a barrage of at least 5,000 rockets launched from the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip against Israel. Some 2,500 Palestinian militants breached the Gaza-Israel barrier and attacked civilian communities and IDF military bases near the Gaza Strip. At least 1,400 Israelis, mostly civilians, lost their lives including 260 people at a music festival. The conflict between Israel and Hamas has been an ongoing and complex issue with a long history. Hamas is considered a terrorist organization by Israel, the United States, the European Union, and several other countries. It was founded in 1987 and is a Palestinian militant group and political organization. The conflict between Israel and Hamas primarily revolves around issues related to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with both parties having different claims and goals. The conflict involves periodic outbreaks of violence, including wars such as the Gaza War in 2008-2009, 2012, and 2014, as well as intense periods of rocket attacks from Gaza into Israel, leading to Israeli military responses. The root causes of the conflict include issues like the status of Jerusalem, the borders of a potential Palestinian state, and the rights and conditions of Palestinians living in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. Efforts have been made to broker ceasefires and peace agreements, but the situation remains volatile and unresolved. International mediation and diplomacy continue to play a significant role in attempts to find a lasting solution to this long-standing conflict. Hamas launched its attack on Israel in a context where there has been a growing trend of Arab nations normalizing relations with Israel. Specifically, Saudi Arabia has been moving towards normalization to secure an American defense pact. This shift poses challenges for Hamas and the Palestinian cause as Saudi interests prioritize normalization with Israel over Palestinian concerns. In this context, Hamas sought to reassert itself and realign security dynamics in the Middle East by attacking Israel. It's important to note that there are different governing authorities in the Palestinian territories. The West Bank is under the control of the Fatah-led Palestinian Authority, which denounces armed violence against Israel. In contrast, Hamas largely governs Gaza, where a 16-year blockade has been in place since 2007. This blockade was imposed after Hamas took control of Gaza and refused to meet Israeli recognition conditions, leading to border closures and sanctions. The situation has been escalating in the West Bank due to the activities of groups like Pidge and Hamas, prompting the IDF to deploy forces there. This deployment created an opportunity for Hamas to initiate actions at the Gaza border. God was with Israel, but Israel was a stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. rebellious, hard-headed, oh, yes. wicked people. That's yeah. right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. You know, folks try to present Israel now like they're so holy and so righteous. Israel is out the devil. <laughs> That's right. They always try to present Israel like they're so clean and so holy, so righteous. They are gay parades now in the streets of Israel. That's right. Thousands of Israelis joined Jerusalem's Pride Parade on Thursday. Opponents of the Pride Parade walk alongside donkeys in Jerusalem. Now Israel's Minister for Police, Itamar ben Givir, describing Jerusalem as a mosaic of differing views, said they were committed to keep the parade safe. We came to support the They are synagogue of Satan's today. That's right. There is a natural house of Israel, those that are direct descendants from Abraham. Yeah. And there's the spiritual house of Israel, those who are connected to Abraham by faith. By faith. Meaning we believe in the same God that Abraham believed. That's right. And we serve and submit to the same God that Abraham should serve That's and right. submit to. That's right. They wouldn't obey God. They reject Moses and they reject God. According to what is written in the Old Testament, the Israelites, led by God-fearing men like Moses and Joshua, escaped slavery in Egypt and entered the Promised Land. Throughout their biblical history, 
Israel faced numerous challenges and often strayed from God's commandments, leading to periods of exile and hardship. In the 20th century, the Zionist movement sought to establish a Jewish homeland, and in 1948, the State of Israel was officially founded. This marked a significant turning point in the history of Israel, as it became a modern nation in the turbulent Middle East. Israel has since played a pivotal role in various regional conflicts and wars, such as the Arab-Israeli Wars, the Six-Day War, and the Yom Kippur War. Throughout history, both biblical and modern, Israel has faced criticism and controversy. Some view Israel's actions, particularly in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, as morally problematic. This has sparked debates about the extent to which Israel may or may not have sinned against God or transgressed ethical principles. Many Jews believe in a divine connection to the land, and for Christians, Israel holds significant prophetic importance. This is often based on biblical passages, such as those in the book of Isaiah, which speak of the restoration of Israel. Views on Israel are diverse and often tied to religious, political, and historical factors. Some support Israel unequivocally, citing its right to exist and its role as a democratic and innovative nation in the Middle East. Others criticize Israeli policies, especially in relation to the Palestinian territories, leading to various debates and international tensions. Israel's history has been marked by conflicts with its neighbors, particularly the Palestinians. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict revolves around issues like borders, settlements, and the status of Jerusalem. These disputes have led to numerous wars, uprisings, and diplomatic negotiations over the years. Various peace initiatives and agreements have been attempted, with the Oslo Accords being one of the most notable. These efforts aim to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and establish a two-state solution, but they have encountered numerous obstacles, including violence and disputes over territory and security. Israel enjoys staunch support from some countries, notably the United States, due to historical ties, shared democratic values, and strategic interests. These alliances have had a significant impact on Israel's political and military capabilities. Conversely, Israel faces international criticism for its actions, especially in relation to the occupied territories and treatment of Palestinians. Critics argue that Israeli policies have infringed on Palestinian rights and hindered the prospects for a peaceful resolution. For many, Israel holds religious significance. It is the holy land for Jews, Christians, and Muslims, and millions visit annually for religious pilgrimages, further intensifying the region's cultural and spiritual importance. The views on Israel are highly polarized. Some support a strong Israeli state, emphasizing security and self-determination, while others advocate for Palestinian rights and a two-state solution. The complexity of the situation makes it challenging to find a universally accepted resolution. The future of Israel remains uncertain, with ongoing challenges and opportunities for peace. Diplomatic efforts, changing leadership, and regional dynamics all play a role in shaping the path forward. In summary, the history and current situation of Israel are deeply intertwined with religion, politics, and regional conflicts. Understanding this multifaceted topic requires a careful examination of various perspectives and a recognition of the ongoing complexities in the region. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.